Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we got a video that's going to take a little bit of time to get through because I got uh, three of these particular Mezco figures based on Chucky. They're about 15 inches tall. This is the latest installment. I just uh, received it today, so we're going to be doing a video on it. It is the actual pizza face uh, Chucky, as they call it, uh, where he actually gets his face sliced off by the fan in part three. Towards the end, I believe it is. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're eventually going to look at the box art. And then we'll take it out of its box and show you uh, the figure in itself. And then we're going to go into the sound effects. And then we're going to move on to my other two figures, which I already got a video sitting on this channel based on them. The other one is, I believe, part two, as well as uh, part four, which is the actual... Um, um, scarred up one where they actually uh, sewed them all back together and he was brought back to uh, life by voodooism and stuff but anyway we're going to get into all those particular figures but in the meantime this is the latest one so what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at the box art and then I'm going to take it out of the, the box and I also want to show you the other boxes that uh, the other two figures come in all three of them are completely different in a way this one here is more traditional to the uh, first one but not exactly 100% accurate as you can see the yellow and everything is more the good uh, good guy uh, type situation but anyway let's get into the actual box art and let me shut this off real quick and then we'll get right into the rest of it okay now this box is extremely huge so we're gonna try to do our best in showing you what it looks like here okay Alright, let me, okay, well, I'm going to have to do this off to the side because the box is big. But that's the piece of, uh, pizza face. The eyes look realistic. They really did a nice job on that part. But once we get it out of the box, we'll actually check it out and stuff. Okay. Child's Play 3, Chucky. He wants you for a best friend. Now here's the side of the box. Well, like I said, this thing is absolutely huge, so I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing in there. But I'm going to do the best that I can. Alright. And it does get a decent amount of weight to it, because it is a heavy dial. Now you'll notice in the back here, it has that little button where you can actually play the actual sound effects. I placed two of them, but once we get them out, I'll reset the, um, the switch and um, it'll... I think it's probably got seven voice commands, I'm not really sure. But anyway, Chucky has arrived. 15 inches tall, and it just pretty much tells you everything in the box of what it is. Okay. But the actual box art is pretty cool. Like I said, this box is huge, so I'll turn it off to its side here a little bit if you can see that. Alright. And then here's the other side of the box. Oh, get up there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the video and get this thing out of its box. But before I do that, let's go ahead and check out some of the sound effects that it has. Hang on, let me just get the switch here. Got to find that happy medium. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Hang on, I'm having problems here. There it is, okay. What the hell's wrong with this thing? <laughs> you got to find that happy medium, that, that soft spot. Anyway, I'll take it out of its box here, and then we'll go ahead and play with it in then, okay? Uh, I'll be right back, okay. Okay, we're back, and we have it out of its box. It also comes with one accessory. It comes with a gun. You know what type of gun it is? I don't know, because I'm not an aficionado when it comes to guns, okay? Though there are certain guns out there that are, you know, absolutely, you know pretty cool, like the uh, Ruger that, um, I think it's a Ruger that The Rock uses in the movie Driver, that's a powerful cannon, okay? That's a badass gun. I mean, it blows a big-ass hole in your body. 
But anyway, this is uh, what it looks like. I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off the stand. And then we're going to get a close-up look at it. And I'm going to show you this uh, sound effects. Then we're going to get into the other two figures and compare them. And at the same time, um, show you the sound effects to those as well. As well as the box art that these come in. I saved the boxes because they're big and they're actually, you know, pretty cool looking. And I'm going to have to stick these in the closet because I had the other two out sitting on the floor. But now that I got a third one, I don't got a place to put it. So I got to put them in the closet. So let me shut this down here real quick. Then we'll look at this and then we'll get into the sound effects, okay? Alright. Now this is 15 inches tall, so you can see he's pretty big, okay? Let me pull him back. The actual detail of these are absolutely spot on. The eyes are realistic looking. And because he's got a pizza face, because half his face was cut off, okay? Now, there is another one out there, but I don't want to get that one because that's, I don't know, it's just more or less, it looks like, uh, kind of like this one here. Except the facial features are a little bit different, that's all. Yeah. But I'm going to show you all three of these, so keep that in mind. Alright, the good guy doll, okay? The actual uniform or, I don't know, clothes that he wears. The color scheme on these are really good. They're pretty much all the same. Alright. <coughs> Sorry about clearing the throat. Alright. Okay, that's what she looks like. And the shoes are pretty much the same as well. The whole entire thing from the head down is pretty much the same. Okay. On all three of the figures that I got. Alright. The gun. Just pull them out of his hands here if I can. It's a tight fit, guys. There we go. Okay, that's the good. Now, when putting it in there, because the hand right here, the fingers. You got to pull them apart a little bit in order to get the gun in there. There we go. Just like that. And that's what she looks like. Okay. The hair is pretty much the same as the rest of them. Except they got different hairstyles. So. He's like, hi. Half my face is gone. <laughs> so now, with that in mind, let's get into the feet. The articulation in these figures, they do have a little uh, flexibility. And it's squeaky, the hands also. There's no bending in the elbows, just in the shoulders, okay? Oops, just in the shoulders. Same with this side, okay? And the head does move from side to side, okay? So with that in mind, let's get into the sound effects. Let me find that sweet spot. Now, I already reset this, so you'll be able to see it. Let me just feel for it. It's a little button. There it is. Okay. So, uh, what's your name, kid? I'm new and improved. My real name is Charles Lee Ray. The voice in this is um, Brad Dourif, but it seems a little clearer. Unless they, <clears throat> unless, you know, they did put some kind of decent speaker in it or something, but it does seem a lot clearer than the other two, which I'll show you here in a second. Hey, long time no see, pal. <laughs> hey, I think we really got to get out of this body. Now, some of these are similar to the other ones here, which you'll see in a second here. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> so, uh, Foo, uh. <laughs> okay, that's it on those sound effects. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push him off to the side a little bit here. Okay, hang on. All right, there we go. I think. No, wait a minute. Okay. There we 
we're having operating difficulties here. There we go. There it is. Okay. Let's get into this one here. This is part two. All right. And we're going to get into his, his sound effects. Are you ready? <laughs> See, it's not as clear as that one there. So, like I said, it must have a better speaker or something in it. <laughs> if I don't get out of this body soon, I'll be trapped in here. Playtime's over. You've been very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid. Fun's over. Okay, that's that on there. I'm going to switch that off. Because I don't want to drain the batteries on it. And it comes with those <clears throat> watch type batteries and they're kind of hard to find. I mean, you could probably go to Walmart and get them and stuff. But I'd like to get them in bulk because I've got a bunch of stuff that has those kind of batteries in it. Okay, let me get in here. All right. Okay. That's it on those guys and their sound effects. Yep. Get in there. There we go. All right. So I got that shut off. This one here, we're going to get him shut off too. So we can preserve the battery. There we go. I believe that's it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, that's it in a nutshell when it comes to these uh, particular Chucky dolls. I'm going to show you the box art, but they're, they're damn huge. I might do that in a different video because they are big. So we'll do that some other time. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you what these uh, particular dolls look like. This is the newest one of the bunch. And the eyes are realistic looking. This all can be on this there. <clears throat> but anyway, I do like Chucky. I was going to get a Chucky t-shirt. I never got it. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I need to find one that's, you know, it suits me a little bit. But I do have an ungodly amount of uh, Return of the Living Dead uh, t-shirts. I love that movie. That movie's awesome, man. And they're coming out with some new figures based on the Return of the Living Dead, which is I'm looking forward to. Anyway, these are all pretty much the same when it comes to the actual bodies and stuff like that. Uh, the facial features are the only thing that are really different, and the sound effects are a little bit different. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video.